back to my channel. Today, I'm doing something a bit different. I've been uploading a lot of travel vlog videos of me in Taiwan. I'm here for the next two months or so, and I just thought I wanted to film a bit of a different video this time um, to switch it up a little bit, but I've been going shopping a lot in this past week, and as you know, clothes in Taiwan are super cheap and it's also very trendy. Um, I've been going to places like Songsan and the night markets. I went to Shida night market the other day and I just can browse for hours on end by myself. Um, if you watch my vlogs, you'll see that I did vlog a little bit of my shopping experiences there but I found some really really cool stuff and I wanted to just do a little haul video slash try on these pieces because I really miss doing the fashion stuff so keep watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below without further ado let's get on with the video currently in my hotel room which is why it is this background hope that is okay I'm gonna start with this jacket slash dress shirt that I bought at Shida Yesu. And the material is so soft. Like, I think this is perfect for the fall slash weather when it gets a little bit colder. So I got it as like a layering piece because I think you can put like a white turtleneck underneath. Last time I was here, I bought a brown dress kind of similar style but I wore that dress shirt to death. Like I wear it in all my pictures, every trip I always bring it. So I left it at home purposely this time when I came because I wanted to just experiment and buy something new. So I think this is really cute. I feel like it's kind of like tweed slash Chanel inspired, but obviously I'm too broke for Chanel. So this will have to do. So it looks like this on. I think it's really cute for the winter time can make a lot of cute girly outfits with this accessories wise i bought this super cute white clip uh from one of the jewelry boutique shops that were was also at shida yesu um there are so many like hair accessory earring little boutique shops that sell super cute um, accessories for really really cheap and i needed a new hair clip because all of mine are plastic and broke so this was perfect for, I don't know, for styling and also I think it matches this per very well too. It's better quality because it's like kind of metal. This is what it looks like. I honestly got so many accessories now that we're here. I got these beautiful origami earrings. Aren't these so beautiful? I'm gonna show them in a better uh, angle but two different colors because you can wear them as just one on each and kind of mix and match um, but these aren't for me i bought these for a friend because it reminded me of her so i'm gonna give it to her when i go back to the states this is what they look like and yeah i think they suit her way more than i think i can rock them so excited to give it to her next thing i got was this beige kind of cream beanie knitted beanie but you guys like this is not just any beanie. This kind of material is like the softest material I have ever felt. Like it really just feels like butter on your skin. So I know it's actually not that cold in Taiwan right now. It's actually very rainy and you're, it's definitely not close to be wearing heavy jacket season. But I wanted to buy it because I don't know if they're going to be selling this in a few months. I just, I just wanted to insure it just in case. It was 300 NTD, which is like... $10 and I think it will look so cute with this as well. Look how cute this is. I feel like I look like I have a huge head with this on but it is just it just keeps you so warm and honestly I don't really need that much in the winter time. I just wear one or two beanies even though I own so many and then I'm good to go but I think this can match with a lot of different things. This is what it looks like. I also picked up some black earrings. These are just simple black hoops. I bought some last time I came to Taiwan and I lost them when I went to a concert which I was really bummed about because they were like my favorite pair and they match with like all black outfits. So I just picked one up because they have a bunch of these lying around at the boutique stores, also very cheap. Next thing, also there's a bunch of sock shops in the night markets or just 
on the side of the street and I desperately needed new socks because all of mine have holes in them or just super old and I just made sure not to bring many when I came because I knew I could buy them and I think they were on sale for like $1.50 each pair or close to $2 each and then when you buy six pairs then you get one for free so I think I washed a few already in the wash so there's just a few here but I am very basic when it comes to socks they have so many different patterns and colors but at the end of the day, you know, simple white sock goes well with basically everything. I just got white and different shades of beige as well. I think the only two ones that really stick out are these that just have three red stripes and this one, which is palm period. Isn't this so cute? I thought that I would just get one cute one. So this is the one I got and I really like it. I also got these earrings as well. I just got a bunch of earrings um, because I don't wear that many but I feel like I don't own any cute ones either so I just want to like expand my collection. So these are ones I got from the Iris Garden accessory shop. Iris Garden is like a Korean clothing boutique shop here that they have several locations in Taiwan and it is my favorite 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 store here. Like a lot of my clothes from my last time I lived here were from Iris Garden and I just love their stuff. So I got these from their accessory store. They have an accessory store in Zongsan and a clothing store. And this was $350, so kind of like close to $14, I'd say. The next pair of earrings I got were these ones. These were $300 NTD, so they were they are just really, really simple studs that are kind of the crystal, like simple studs that you can put for every day. I'm a very lazy person when it comes to earrings. I always wear the same ones. I have three holes on this ear and then two on this ear, but I feel like I should just like really try my best to start wearing them more and not leave them empty so it looks like this these are the other ones this really cute knitted tank oh, look at the color this is so cute for the winter time and i'm not one to really own knit like tank tops i guess like especially like this kind of material but i thought this was so cute and it like complements my purple hair so I think I'm gonna wear this a lot. I can wear this in the summertime, but also I can layer it with this white turtleneck that didn't come with it, but it was like styled at the store. So I needed to hit like a certain limit to use the credit card. So I ended up just buying the white turtleneck. I also think this is just a staple in your closet. Like you can layer a lot of things with this underneath it or you can wear it by itself. This is what the white tank top turtleneck looks like on. It's very tight. Um, I don't know if I wear it by itself because it is really sheer. Like I'm wearing a neutral colored bra underneath, but I guess it works. Basically, for the rest of the haul, I really was on the hunt for some pants because I barely bought any pants uh, in terms of in my luggage when I was coming here. And I have been on the hunt for cargo pants for the longest time. I've been looking in America and they're also overpriced and I could only really find them at like Zara and they were not the style I wanted. So I got two pairs of cargo pants that were perfect like they are exactly what I wanted and they were also awesome because like all under 30 bucks these I think were only 12 which is amazing and I love this slate kind of gray color I really wanted black when I went and I couldn't find it so I just settled on these and they had them also in a army green color but I don't know what it is I just aren't I'm not that into army green anymore so I opted for these I feel like it suits my complexion and my hair color more and looks like this it has the, the pockets on the side let me try it on for you guys i don't know if you guys can see it but this is what it looks like on and the pockets it's also very thin it's easy to layer so it's also very easy to move around in so i can definitely dance in these as well and i don't have to keep wearing my one pair of sweatpants that i brought <laughs> so next pair I got were the same exact ones I found in black, which I really, 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 really wanted. These were a bit more expensive, basically the same exact style, um, 
but I didn't care because I was looking for them for a long time, so. To wear this outfit like this with my Yoon Ambush sneakers. So, Ablo um, totes from the Brooklyn Museum when they had the Virgil exhibition. I think this is such a look and it just goes so well with my purple hair. This is what it looks like. I should have filmed all my outfits with this mirror. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it looks very sick, so yeah. Anyway, my last pants and article of clothing for this whole haul are these black trousers that are like very lightweight. I got these black trousers from another boutique small store here called Core Bon and they match very well with this top too. I got it because they're so comfortable and they just flow well when you're wearing them. I didn't take into consideration how big they make me look. There's definitely no, there's no form to these pants. So when you're wearing them, it's just like really baggy. And because of my body shape, it makes me look huge. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to keep these, but they are really comfortable. Let me try them on for you guys. It's also all black, so I don't know. Just simple, simple trousers. I guess they're not too bad. I'd be overthinking my body here. But yeah. Alright you guys, I think that is it for my haul today. My camera is about to die from the battery. It's blinking red right now. So I'm gonna close out this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said before, please subscribe and leave a like if you liked watching this video. I did miss making these type of haul videos and I kind of want to explore more here so let me know if you guys want to continue watching stuff like this and my adventures in Taiwan. There's gonna be more vlogs coming your way so yeah. See you guys in my next video. Bye!